You know, a lot of animals like cats and dogs, they have cycles and uh, they're in heat or one thing or another. And it's rumored that <coughs> humans, when they broke out of that cycle, they were not heat and they were in heat all the time. Um, <laughs> some social anthropologists believe that's the way language was invented. They got tired, you know, for Anyway, I, I didn't like to talk about the cover. At, at first shot, I didn't like the cover. Uh, it turned me off, you know. And, uh, but uh, in an email, I had them, Charlie Plymel, an old friend of mine, who, uh, he also disliked the cover. He, he said, a, a no to Peter, you know. <coughs> And uh, Charlie's no uh, newcomer to publishing. He, did, he printed the first set comic book. Uh, he and his wife have a publishing company in Cherry Valley, New York. Anyway, uh, he said he, had, he loved the book and what was in it, but he had to keep the cover turned over. <laughs> and uh, anyway, uh, he, he told Peter uh, that the book was juvenile. That's what he said. <laughs> and Peter replied, it is juvenile. That's the whole purpose of art and of ever talk still on the planet. Huh. Anyway, that's what said. <laughs> okay, uh, I gotta admit, my ego, ego doesn't like to think like it was too much. <laughs> <laughs> or that my big head is any better, really. You know, there's the big head, the little head, the big head, the big head, the what do you think? <laughs> Uh, I mean, what do you call them besides stupid? You're junk, you're Johnson, you're slum, you're dog, you're package. Junk. Mr. One Eye Schmuck, Ants Lizard, all, all kinds of things. <laughs> On the other hand, what do women call theirs? <laughs> They're uh, the JJ, the hair pie, the honey pot, the hunt, the green pot, the center of the universe. <laughs> the Grand Canyon, the Cookie Box, Carl's Bad Cavern, the Little Beaver. Well, I'm not sure what I call their jokes that way. I mean, I think it sounds like what men call them. Um, well, back to Mr. One Eye, or the Little Head. He actually is stupid. <laughs> and he does make mistakes. <laughs> like, like, you know. Um, Sure, I hired her. She can't type, but she might blow me. <laughs> or, let, let's go in the bathroom and sniff some coke and uh, have some sex. While everyone at the party is banging on the door, probably get in and do the same thing. That was years ago. It sort of passed. But, well, a lot of this is past. It's not pretend. But uh, it's still there. <clears throat> oh, yeah, we can make it a telephone booth or the back of a car on the street. Maybe even a busy street or the middle of the road. Let's face it, Mr. Stupid is fueled by testosterone. And the real trouble starts when it gets with the big head, with the little head and the big head combined, and then they get with the heart. That starts something they might call love. You heard of it? Love? Well, you've probably heard of it. Uh, that's when the really great trouble comes. Or the really great whatever, you know. Which my last bit here. Oh, here it is. Well, you know, in English there's only one word for love. You say love. Whereas uh, it, it, the Eskimos have over a hundred words for snow. But they have a lot of snow, I guess. We only have that one word. We have a lot of adjectives like true love or crazy love or essential love or love at first sight. Sick love, puppy love, romantic love, unconditional love. Anyway, there's all kinds of love. Because in the end, that's really what it's all about. Even in a Zen Dada world, it's about love. Everything is love. And that includes Mr. Stupid here. <laughs> so in the end, you know, I, art does shock people and remind them of themselves, and this is a great cover. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.